What's going on, YouTube? John Grimm, Grimm Labs. Tonight I'd like to discuss the epic steps in putting together your own little workstation to produce music. Um, oh, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about, you know, people showing off how they did it, so I figure, you know, I'm no different. I set mine up myself just for the little things I like to do and, you know, the stuff that you've probably heard before. But... Let me show it to you. Come on. So, people think that all this stuff costs retarded money to put together, and they think that, you know, they're never really going to have the capabilities to do it. But I'm here to tell you that I was the same way until I put together Grim Labs. Now, a quick overview as we walk into the lab, the lair, start off right up here. This is a CyberPower gaming PC. Now the reason you want to use this is very simple, processing power, more channels, more stuff open at the same time, because, you know, if the computer is inadequate, guess what, you're going to bog down and it's just going to be, you know, bleh. So, this is the bad boy right here. You know, a uh, good thing to have is a lot of hard drive space also because <laughs> all this stuff takes up a hefty amount of data, you know. So, case in point, when you have one built or build one or do whatever, lots and lots of space. Now, you get a lot of questions about all of these. Why in the world do I need all of them? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how to set them up. Because people think, oh, they're four different computers. No, no, no. You see, one 3D card, two 3D card. No. Forgive my grainy video. This is being taken off of a camera, but I'll get better. One, two on one card. One, two on the other card. Okay. Now, in order for this to work, make sure you turn SLI off. Okay, because SLI just combines the power of both. You know what I'm saying? Both the 3D cards to give you more gaming power, which we don't need in this case. We're trying to make music. <laughs> now, to the big dilemma, and I know you're looking at it going, why? Well, let me show you. Sit down right quick. Oh, lordy. Yes, as you can tell, I do play a lot of games, but on a system like this, who wouldn't? <clears throat> now, you see my little mouse somewhere around here. There goes Mr. Mouse. Now, you know, you can open a nice folder and then go. <whistles> now it's all the way over there. Now it's all the way here. Get it? Okay. Now, why do you want this? Simple. Once you're using your little programs or, you know, whatever you use to make music, out of music, aside the point, I'm just going to pull up Reason, my little monk spit track. Boom. Now you got your Reason up, right? That's only one of the three monitors. Now, remember, if you've used Reason before, the sequencer window usually sits down here, and this is where you make, you know, the actual pattern, etc., so on. Now, what I do, and I highly recommend that you do as well when setting up your studio, is plan on using more than one monitor because then you get something like this bam now the other three monitors are used for pattern making and you see how close I mean you can literally see every note that's being played you know this is good for when you're editing or creating you know because you don't have to scroll da, 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 just bang look at this screen bang look at this screen bang look at this screen and boom you got your rack right here so the whole thing is laid out like so alright gaming PC thousand bucks counting alright these monitors I got them for free you know you can uh, you know if there's an office closing or whatever you know, you could just take these. I mean, these are old, okay? But for my purpose, they're awesome because I really don't need nothing more than that. Okay, so let's even say you buy flat screens, which is awesome. You know, 100 bucks a piece, 400 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 1,400 bucks. Counting? Okay. Now, 
nice little USB keyboard, you know, for simple purposes. Got it. Got it. Good. Alright. Keyboard push. Happens over there. If you play well, boom. You really don't need the sequencer window, but I don't. So I like to do a little surgery inside there once I'm done and get everything to hit on point. So on and so forth. Keyboard, less than a hundred bucks. Counting, good. Now, the nerve center of all this is a Korg D3200. Now, I've done a lot of research on this, and, you know, feel free to drop me a line if you think I'm wrong, but for the money, which is about 1100 bucks, depends on where you get it, this is one of the best pieces for recording. All right. Now, it's got 30, what is it, 32 channels, yep. So you got 16 here, brink, and then if you push this button here, bang, you have 16 more. Okay? Cool. Now, uh, you got 12 inputs, and then you have 8 phantom inputs if you use, like, you know what I'm saying, shock-mounted mics or, you know, anything that requires its own power source. Boom, you push a button, bang, you get power, ghost power stuff. Cool. All right. Now, essential to how this works with that, not only can you upload, you know, waves or whatever you've recorded into that, I put the sound that comes out of the computer onto this, which means now anything that's played on that could be recorded and transferred into a WAV file. So if you like cutting samples off of the internet, you know, whatever you want to do, any kind of music you want to just cut up and do something good for hip hop stuff, good for any stuff, you know, just gives variety in what you can create, you know. So you have that there. All right. Now, another cool thing is about having a mix board or a digital workstation like this one uh, is now you can record live sound, all right? Now, not only that, but you can hook up Meta keyboards like this bad boy here and, you know, or guitars and, you know, obviously all your microphones and everything can be used to plug in, to plug in here to record either simultaneously separate different tracks however you want to do it you know what I mean uh, for the sound system now you know got my little monitor stuff like these are you know this would go to main monitor speakers but I chose to go a different way the way you want to go is obviously the budget you have to spend I went with just a decent home theater system because as you can see the size of the room is really not that big you know that's the boom boom box down there and you know it, it gives good sound but most of the time make sure you have good headphones because that's where you're going to be doing most of your mastering um so in a nutshell all of this if you've been counting give or take 25 to three thousand bucks okay the desk i put it all together myself cost of material is fairly obvious depends on how much space you have to work with. I'm just fortunate to where I have a room that I designated for the lab. So, in a nutshell, this is Grim Labs. Any questions you have as to how all this stuff works that hasn't been covered, you know, drop me a line. Peace.